Losing weight is a New Year's resolution for a lot of Canadians, but the same strategies don't work for everyone. Joining me now is weight loss expert Harvey Brooker. He's the author of It's Different for Men. Why is weight loss different for men, Harvey? Thanks for joining us. Well, one of the major problems is that um, men usually don't do anything about their weight until it gets out of hand and they're well into their 40s. Usually um, they get uh, warnings from their doctor that they've got um, uh, problems with their health and that's when they do something about it. And guys don't pay much attention to food really. They just keep, um, they're being served when they're young by their moms often and they uh, get out into the business world. They wa walk into restaurants and they get served there. They're not very analytical about what they put into their mouth and um, guys are always um, eating what we call man-sized portions when really you know, we're not going back out into the farm anymore and working. We're going back to the desk and sitting, yeah. and we can't burn off the calories. Uh, do men have problem areas like women do? And uh, Problem areas Stomach, of... Stomach, uh, yeah. thighs. <laughs> well, usually guys um, will talk to me in confidence about things that really affect them, but uh, the most important thing that men that I see, I, I get the over 40 crowd coming to me normally, although I have younger guys that do come in their 20s because uh, they want to get the problem solved. They, what they're there for is to uh, correct um, their weight before it becomes a health hazard to them. And usually diabetes, high blood pressure, cholesterol, sleep apnea, things of that nature. And, uh, you know, they're, they're very aware of the way they look. Uh, guys will talk to me about not wanting to take their shirt off at the beach because of, you know, their condition that they have underneath the shirt. And so they're very much like women where that's concerned. But guys won't lose weight to march down the aisle for their daughter's wedding to get into that Yeah, pursuit, and that's, that's an know. interesting point. Um, do men, do they sort of look at weight loss differently? They don't obsess about weight the same way as women, do you think? Yeah, I think they do today. I really? think the guys are very conscious of it, um, but most men will do it um, the wrong way. They'll, they'll go to a gym and try and sweat it off, as uh, has been the way for men for many years. Um, but in reality, you can't do it that way. Uh, you really need to combine a good exercise program with a healthy eating program. And the two work together, and they separately, they're, uh, you know, the one that would win would be the healthy eating program over the exercise program every time. Interesting. Is it easier for men to lose weight than for women? Well, it is because uh, we don't have a real natural place for storage of fat. You know, in the old olden times, uh, women would need some extra weight on their body because they were uh, giving birth to children and would have to nurture children. But guys would be out in the fields working physically, and uh, they wouldn't need any body weight, ex excess body weight at all. And today, there's no natural place for weight to be stored, so most guys get it around the midriff, uh, where it becomes very dangerous. Mm -hmm. um, they uh, get the visceral fat that affects uh, not only the uh, the exterior that you can see, but the omental fat which surrounds uh, the organs, the internal organs of the body. Give us three tips for men. The first one I would say is uh, is get some help. Uh, we do help at the, the Harvey Brooker Weight Loss Program. We do help. We we make sure that guys get support all the way through this. And um, guys are not, you know, great at getting help. You know, often they won't ask for directions. And they're and but I say to men, go get some help. Um, make sure you get a professional who knows what they're doing to assist you. Uh, the second thing I would say is you can't really uh, if if you can't measure it, you can't know what you're doing. Mm -hmm. So you have to write down your food intake. How easy is it to stand over a refrigerator and, and grab off 150 calories worth of hard cheese or a handful of nuts? Um, so you, what you do is you write down the food that you've had during the course of the day. You became, become very analytical about it and you get to know uh, whether or not you're overeating or not by just looking at. And there's lots of programs on the internet which you can actually uh, plug into and mm -hmm. find out how many calories that you're taking in on a daily basis. And the third one is like any other uh, program to try and change a behavior, an obsessive behavior that you have, 
you get you need support from those around you so the people especially in your uh, close environment at your home mm -hmm. so uh, healthy shopping is important and preparation of food um, from with uh, being health minded when you're preparing food is is vital and so you need those three things I would say would be at the top of the list get support um, write down your food intake and get people around you to help you in your environment all right and very quickly men tend to be competitive betting who can lose more weight does that sort of incentive never works work? you no. know it never works uh, event weight losses never work I'm going on a holiday I'm going to lose weight um, my daughter's getting married I'm going to lose weight in the long run it's a short term thing it has to be permanent change and um, and it has to be a training like anything else it takes uh, a long period of time. The average man who comes to me, I usually see about a year and a half, two years before the change takes place. Interesting. And, uh, and if he doesn't put in the time, if he's you know, going to do it on a cursory basis, uh, it isn't going to work. And if a guy tries to lose weight and thinks that that's the solution, the weight loss itself, he'll always gain it back. The solution comes in learning how to sustain your weight after you finish losing your weight. All right, Harvey Brooker, author of It's Different for Men. Thank you so much for coming in. Absolutely, my stuff. pleasure.